Understanding the phrase, mourn the passing, an English learning journey. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very meaningful phrase, mourn the passing. Understanding such phrases not only enriches your vocabulary but also helps you grasp the emotional depth of the English language. So, let's dive in and unravel the layers of meaning in this expression. First, let's break down the phrase into its two components, mourn and the passing. Mourn is a verb that means to feel and show deep sorrow or regret, usually because someone has died. It's an emotional response to loss, particularly the loss of a loved one. The passing is a noun phrase, and here, passing, refers to death or the end of life. It's a more gentle or euphemistic way of saying, death, often used to soften the harsh reality of the concept. So, when we combine these two, mourn the passing, means to feel and express deep sorrow due to someone's death. Now, let's look at how and when this phrase is used. Mourn the passing, is typically used in more formal or solemn contexts. You might see it in obituaries, eulogies, or during memorial services. It's a respectful and dignified way of acknowledging someone's death and expressing grief. For example, the community gathered to mourn the passing of a beloved teacher. We mourn the passing of an era with the closure of the historic theater. Notice how the phrase not only conveys sadness but also a deep respect and recognition of the person or thing that is no longer present. Understanding, mourn the passing, also means grasping its cultural and emotional weight. In English-speaking cultures, this phrase is often associated with rituals of remembrance and honoring the dead. It's a part of the grieving process, allowing people to express their feelings and find closure. Remember, mourning is a deeply personal and emotional experience. The phrase, mourn the passing, captures that depth of feeling, acknowledging that the loss is significant and deeply felt. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, mourn the passing, in all its complexity and emotional depth. Remember, learning a language is not just about words, but also about the feelings and cultures those words represent. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to our next English learning journey together. Stay curious and keep learning!